change from Vector 3 to Vector 4 at exactly 10 minutes, 30 seconds. We've been on this reach for 9 minutes, 45 seconds. Very well. Stand by to come to course 043. 043, aye. Navigation, come to course 043. Aye, sir. What was that? What's your reading, Kowalski? I'm not getting any, sir. It seems to be functional. There it is again, Skipper. Slow to one third. Maneuvering, slow to one third. Slow to one third. Aye. What do you make of it? I don't know. I'd say it was a drive shaft, Barry, if, uh, if we use propellers. It's getting worse. You better surface till we track this down. Mr. Morton, prepare the... I suggest you check your watches. We, uh, we must be passing through some kind of magnetic field, that's it, isn't it? I hope that's all it is. Oh, what else could it be? I'll let it rest there till we find out. It stopped. Everything seems to be right back on schedule, doesn't it? Yeah, I was right about the magnetic field, and we passed through it. I hope so. I still think we better surface. I agree. Skipper. Something's out there. Dead ahead. All back full. Hard left rudder. Look. something we can't finish. It's backing off. You're right. Chip, close the collision screen. It's moving off now, sir. All right, keep tracking it. If it gives any indication of moving this way again, sing out. Yes, sir. The minute we started backing away, let us go. Now it's moving off again. How do you figure it? Well, we didn't accept this challenge. I suppose feeling very important now that it's uh, outbluffed us. You're right. All stop. All uh, right. All stop. All stop. Aye. Resume course. Ahead one third. Resume course. Ahead one third. Resume course. Ahead one third. Aye, sir. It still doesn't explain what that is up there. I'm taking your advice and getting to the surface. Oh, I would. Make all preparations to take us up. Aye, sir. Make all preparations to surface. Aye, sir. Lookouts, stand by to mount bridge. Low main ballast. Plane's been 10 degree up bubble. 10 degree up bubble high.
Surface, surface. Crack the main hatch. Aye, sir. What's the weather top set? 62 degrees, wind 10 knots from southeast, sea calm. Let's have a look. Happened to the sun. At what time was it when our watches ran wild? 14.30 hours, 2.30 in the afternoon. That's what I thought. It was less than an hour ago. It's supposed to be in the middle of the afternoon, though. There's your answer. It's a total eclipse, that's all. But that's impossible. There isn't even a partial eclipse due in these latitudes for years. Maybe not, but we're looking at one. Clips will be over in a few minutes. While you're topside, uh, take a few visual observations of the sun. I'd like to double check our position. Right. <sighs> Have the lab develop these. On eight by ten blow ups, it's a rest job. Hi, sir. Any incoming messages? No, sir. It's unusually quiet. Uh -huh. I will fix that. Raise the institute. I'll talk to anyone on duty in the astronomy section. Patch the call through to my camera. Huh? Aye, sir. Picking up anything now, Kowalski? No, sir. The board's clear. Good. Uh, what was that contact? Uh, a sea serpent? Oh, nothing quite that believable, I'm afraid. I'll let the crew know. Well, as soon as I figure it out myself. Carry on. Aye, sir. I'll be in my cabin, sir. Chip. Something wrong? When did you make the last navigational check? 1,400 hours on schedule. And we were here, right? That's right. I just shot the sun. I make our position here. It would take a day's run at flank speed to get that far. There's got to be some mistake. There is a mistake. Let's check the satellite again. But it shouldn't take this long. It's working all right, but where's the answer? Insufficient data. Insufficient data. How can there be insufficient data? Either the satellite's in orbit or it isn't. That's right. Looks to me like it isn't. Where's the other one? In his cabin. Sparks, what about my call? Sir, I can't raise the Institute. Oh, that's ridiculous. We have a 24-hour radio watch there. Yes, sir, but I can't get a response. Well, then, uh, try another band. Contact anyone you can, set up a relay. I've tried that, sir. The equipment's operative, but I can't pick up anything. Not even commercial broadcast. For the past hour, I haven't received a signal of any kind. <laughs> All right. All right, keep monitoring. Aye, aye, sir. Come in. Admiral, yeah, no, we've got a serious navigation problem on our hand. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You've uh, tried the satellite, of course. That's what bothers me. We're getting no information from it. If I were to tell you that we're completely out of communication with the rest of the world, and have been ever since that clock business. I'll get the duty electrician on it. No, 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 don't bother. Why not? Because there's nothing wrong with the ship's radio. What do you know that you're not telling me? Not a thing for certain. No, I could make a couple of guesses. When I tell you what they are, you'll be convinced that I've completely lost my mind. Try me. Well, 
Come in. Oh, Admiral. Here are the prints the lab wrote more records making these. Oh, be careful, sir. They're still wet. Ah, uh, fine. Thank you, Chief. Carry on. Thanks, sir. And that creature we saw through the nose window has been extinct for over a million years. Obviously, there's one surviving specimen. I doubt that very much. Now, why do you suppose that Sparks has been unable to get any messages, even though the ship's radio is in perfect working order? Well, what are you driving at, exactly? This is the final proof, and I, I don't see any way around it. Well, how do you get any proof from these pictures of the sky? Not the sky, the constellations. They haven't appeared this way for over a million years. Incredibly enough, that's where we are right now. A million years in the past. You actually believe we may be lost in time? Somewhere about a million BC. That's exactly what I believe. Just on the basis of these photographs? It's the most convincing evidence I've ever seen. Okay, for the sake of argument, let's say you're right. What are we supposed to do about it? At the moment, nothing. And you're just going to leave it at that? Of course not. I'm going to try every way I can to find out a solution, if there is one. Meanwhile, uh, you'd better not discuss this with the crew. Don't worry. I don't want to wind up in sick bay wearing a straitjacket. Skipper, can you come to the control room as soon as possible? Chip, I'll be right there. Let me know if you find a solution. Mm. We're following a blip on the radar screen. We thought it was a plane at first. Now we're not so sure. No plane flies that way. The flight path's erratic. Yeah, it keeps veering this way. Mr. Morton, this is the bridge. Look out. We've got visual contact with a bogey. This is the captain. What do you see? Sir, it's a... it's a bird. You're on the wrong target. Our blip indicates a much larger object. No, sir. This thing looks as big as a jet. Keep visual contact. I'll be right up. What? It's heading straight for us. Stand by for the orders to clear the bridge. If it comes around to attack again, don't wait for the orders. What happened up there? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. A ski. Is uh, sonar picking up anything unusual below us? No, sir. It's clear from keel to bottom. Not good. Take it down. Prepare to dive. Clear the bridge. Clear the bridge. Lookouts below. Up, sir? No, let's give ourselves more maneuvering room. Make it 200 feet. Aye, aye. Make depth 200 feet. Make depth 200 feet. Depth 200 feet, aye. 
Low negative. To the mark. Aye, aye, sir. Helmet plane. Steady she goes. Depth 200 feet. Trim satisfactory. Very well. Ski, if you get a contact of any kind, that'll find me at once. Aye, aye, sir. Lee. What's this all about? I, uh, I wish I could tell you, uh, just, just wait a little. Just like the last time. Admiral, did you feel that? Of course, if it follows the same pattern, there should be another jolt in a second. Looks like the pattern's repeating itself. It uh, doesn't make sense. I'll join you in the control room and... Are you getting it too? You're getting what? Flickering lights. There's, uh, there's nothing wrong with the lights. How's the ship's chronometer behaving? It's, uh, it's perfectly normal. What's going on up there? Stand by, I'll be right there. Santa Barbara. My office at the Institute. But it, it can't be. How did I get here? <laughs> Who's that? Come out where I can see you. Take this uh, one step at a time. Um, who are you? My name is Penn. You may call me simply Mr. Penn. Mm. Mr. Penn. And how the devil did you get here? No, no, you had it right the first time. What you want to know is how the devil you got here. Security, this is Nelson. Will you send a couple of men to my office immediately? That was a complete waste of time. Oh, was it? My security officers will be here to arrest you in a few seconds. On the contrary, your guards will never arrive unless I permit it. Permit it, then? You, you um, overvaluate your power. Oh, no. Merely a factual assessment. Tell me, Admiral, as a military man, what is the most potent of all weapons? Well, that's obviously a rhetorical question. I suggest that uh, you answer it. <laughs> the control of time, of course, as it happens, I have complete mastery 
over that elusive facet of existence, which automatically makes me, by my reckoning, the most powerful individual that ever lived. <laughs> you know, I have met egomaniacs before, but this... <laughs> I don't enjoy laughter at my expense. Well, how, how do you expect me to react to a statement like that, huh? <laughs> I see your point. It's a difficult concept for the human mind to grasp. I must give you another demonstration. Well, you'd better hurry because my men are on their way. You really believe that, don't you? Well, no matter. Would you be good enough to open that door? Why not? Would you be good enough to describe what you see on the other side of the door? It's a hallway, of course. Really? Look again. What kind of a trick is this? No trick at all. At least not in the sense you mean. Look again and prove it to yourself. Go on. Look. The Admiral's gone. Gone? He's not in his cabin. There's no sign of him anywhere. You were just talking to him on the intercom. I heard you. Chief. Sir? Get a man to relieve Kowalski on sonar. I want you two men for a special project. May I ask about what kind of project? Find Admiral Nelson. Find him? That's right. He's disappeared now. Carry him. I see you're impressed. Good. Now look again and tell me what you see. You're fond of ordering people around, aren't you? Well, that's hardly surprising, since I can easily carry out any sort of threat I might care to make. But that's neither here nor there. I intend to make a believer of you, Admiral. So, please look again. I guarantee you'll be amazed at what I can do. All right, I'm seeing see you underwater. The effect is very real, but uh, I don't see what you're proving. Patience, you'll understand in a moment. Watch. The sea creature, yeah. I, I remember that. Wait and watch. What, what is this? Why are you showing me this? Just watch. What's the condition of the reactors? Secure, sir. We'll stand by to answer bell. Mr. Rum? <laughs> Not much of myself. This, this is absolutely impossible. A man can't be in two places at the same time. Of course not, but who said it was the same time? Let's continue. You know that you're completely and utterly mad. Am I indeed? Incidentally, I've stopped time for the moment so that you won't miss anything. Now watch. What's your situation, Chief? Not too bad. No casualties. Skipper, what happened? Well, I'll give you a full briefing later. Ballast tanks are OK. Air supply is normal. No. Very well. Come on, all right, we can move. I'll take her up. No, hold it, Chief. We've got a surface so we can double check the outer hull. Anything troubling you, Admiral? Must be here. Dreaming, I looked drugged. What's it doing? Moving off. I think this is our chance to get away. Are the divers back aboard? No, sir. We can't get any response from them. We can't afford to wait much longer. If it turns the taxi again, we're finished. CV to divers. Come in, Kowalski. Kowalski, do you read me? I'll give the order to blow ballast.
Chief. Yes, sir? We're going up. But so the diving party. They don't answer, and we've waited as long as we can. Skipper, give me ten minutes. I'll take out a search party. I'm sorry, Chief. I'm afraid they're not coming back. I sir. Okay, get your thumbs out of your mouths and police up this area. Come on, jump! Hey, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Skipper, this is Sharky. Emergency. What is it? There's a signal on the hull. Don't blow ballast yet, sir. Chip, belay that order to blow ballast. I'll be right down. Open the hatch. Aye, aye, sir. Come on, open that hatch. You all right, Street? Yeah, yeah, huh? You're not hurt, huh? What was that thing that attacked us? It nearly killed us out there. Something to the past, something I lived through once more than two years ago. I do not intend to live through it again. Well, I trust you've at least learned one small lesson, Admiral. I hope you'll admit now that what I've been telling you isn't just an idle boast. What are you, a hypnotist? Is this uh, some kind of a, an elaborate hallucination? Admiral, you're not thinking clearly. Otherwise, you'd realize this is not an illusion. It is reality. How else could you explain your presence here? when split seconds before you were on your submarine a thousand miles away. Well, there, there, there must be some plausible well, explanation. There most certainly is. Only you stubbornly refuse to accept it. Oh, you mean your control of time? No, I'm, I'm sorry. You haven't convinced me of that. You've only shown me things from the past, things that uh, you could have found out. It's your future you want, is it? How pathetically familiar. Well, I can't let you see that. It wouldn't be fair to let it. It wouldn't be such a horrible experience more than once. Well, you've uh, obviously planned something unpleasant for me. Yes, indeed. You're really serious about this? Very serious. At last you believe me. I've never shot a man in cold blood before. But I'm ready to make an exception in your case. I guess you need another demonstration. With no trouble at all, you know, I could send you back a million years in time and leave you there. Is that what you want? If you try, I'll shoot. I mean that. Oh, I hope so. I detest idle threats. Why don't you pull the trigger? Admiral. Don't tell me you're not capable of carrying out your threats. Because I am. As you see, my control of time is complete. There's nothing left for you to do, Admiral, but resign yourself to the inevitable. Okay, then where is he? I don't know. Let's take a look in this cabin. This cabin? Chief, the skipper checked it. That's why he ordered the search. Do you have any better ideas? Okay. The Admiral's cabin. But we won't find him there. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, please, let's not go all through that again. The result would be exactly the same. I just wanted to be sure that the uh, gun was really there. You don't still doubt my power? Oh, no, no, no. I, I think it's remarkable. Uh, what is your source of energy? Why do you ask? 
Oh, come now. I know of only one theoretical way to affect time, acceleration. Oh, you're not quite so dense as I suspected. And to accomplish what you've already demonstrated would require acceleration, oh, many times greater than the speed of light. Go oh, on, you're beginning to interest me. Now, such tremendous acceleration require an almost unlimited supply of energy. Where does it come from? You don't really expect me to tell you. I doubt if you'll be able to resist the temptation. I confess it. I misjudged your mind. You're really fairly intelligent. This is my secret. An old-fashioned pocket watch? I made it in the form of a timepiece. It seemed appropriate. <sighs> Mr. Pym, you have been lying to me. Now, nothing that small could produce the energy you require. It isn't an energy producer, it's an energy booster. All I require is a large source of energy and this. This will boost the output by a factor of 100,000 or more. Hmm. You know you're a fool, Mr. Pym? Uh, admittedly, you're a genius, but you're still a fool. How can you say that after all I've shown you? Well, you said you're going to kill me, and, and, and then what? Well, why should you care? Once you're dead... The truth is, you have no plan. You may have some vague idea about taking over sea view and using it as a portable source of nuclear energy, but how are you going to use it? That's no concern of yours. But it could be, it could be. Look, you've made a fantastic discovery. But you haven't the slightest idea in the world of how to capitalize. And I suppose you do. Yes, yes, I do. Well, I'm not interested in any grandiose schemes for the benefit of humanity. Now, who said anything about humanity? Is it possible you're not as altruistic as I supposed? You'll never make it on your own, Mr. Pem. You have a, no sense of planning. Power to be useful has to be applied. But if I worked with you, I took care of the direction and the planning, it'd be a different story. Well, it is true. I loathe red tape. Don't you see, Mr. Pem, you and I working together as partners could, could have the whole world at our feet. You'd be a partner? Huh. Junior partner. Uh, if uh, you agree. <laughs> you know, Darwood is not in here, Chief. We should have reported to the skipper. Uh, come on. Don't you uh, believe in knocking? I'm sorry, sir. Uh, we didn't think you were in here. Oh, the fact is, sir, the uh, skipper. Oh. Oh, this is my guest, Mr. Pem. You tell Captain Crane I am coming up to the control room to talk to him. Aye, sir. Come on, Ski. Who was that character? I never saw him before in my life. Me either. Come on, we gotta report to the skipper. Hey, wait, wait, wait. There's something really foul up around here. You were standing hatch watch before you sailed, right? That's right. And I was checking rosters. I didn't see this guy, did you? No, no, I didn't. I sure remember a face like that. Well, how do, how do you get aboard then? You got me. But he must be quite a swimmer. Man, we're a thousand miles from port. Well, uh, we didn't pick up anybody at sea. He must have gotten aboard before we sailed. Look, don't bat your brains out over it. The Admiral seems to know all about it. Yeah, well, that's the part that worries me most. Now, come on, Chief. Our orders report to the skipper. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm going to follow them. Still no report from Kowalski and the Chief? No, sir. I just don't understand it. The uh, Admiral says he'd be right down to see you, sir. Where'd you find him? The last place we looked, Miss Cabin. You better tell him the rest of it, Chief. The rest of what, Kowalski? Come on, speak up. Well, um, there was a civilian up there with him. A civilian? 
Out here in the middle of the ocean? It's true, sir. There's a kind of a weirdo with the funniest look in his eye. Yes, sir, we both saw him. Very well. You and Kowalski resume your posts. Aye, sir. Kowalski, have your release stand on. Mr. Pem. I know this is a surprise, but uh, I'll explain that to you later. I'm going to show him around the ship. Uh, very well, sir. Uh, this way, Mr. Pem. Oh, uh, Lee, there's just one thing. Uh, would you go down to frame 35 and see that everything's shut down in that area? Uh, excuse me, Admiral. Did you say frame 35? Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, 35. Um, I'll take care of it immediately. Good. Well, let's go on, Mr. Pem. Frame 35, that's the reactor. I know. Well, he ordered it shut down. That means no power in our engines. That'll put us on the bottom. It's got something to do with that stranger, whoever he is. That's why I didn't mention the reactor by name. Are you actually going to carry out that order? To the letter, Chip. Take the con. <laughs> And uh, how about this way, sir? Well, that seems to be taking me back to the control room. Uh, that's right. You mean the tour is over? Oh, in this section, yes, but there's more to see on the upper level. But you haven't shown me the only thing I'm really interested in. Oh, you mean the reactor? Where is it? I insist you take me there at once. Well, why so anxious, Mr. Patton? You know very well why time is growing short. <laughs> but you're the only man in the world that shouldn't bother about that, huh? Shut down the reactor. Shut it down, sir? That's right. And once I do, it's to stay shut down until you get a direct order from me. Is that clear? Aye, sir. Now I want to be dead sure. No one's to restart it without me. And if anyone tries, anyone at all, you stop them. With your life if you have to. Aye, sir. What was that? I wouldn't be surprised if that were engine trouble. Control room, this is the engine room. This is the exec, go ahead. Sir, we've lost all power in the engines. We can't give you any forward speed at all. <laughs> Very well. Mr. Morton. Without... Without forward speed, can we hold our depth? I doubt it. There's no time to adjust the trim. Well, then we'll, we'll hit bottom. Shouldn't the skipper be informed about this? No need for that. He's the one who cut the power. Brace yourselves. We're going to hit. Indeed, I will. How did I get here? Pam. Pam! You've hmm. underestimated me again. When I ask a question, I expect an answer. Have you shut down the reactor? Where are you? Answer me. This is your last warning. Answer!
it, sir? The reactor. I have to start it up again. That's it? I have to start it again. I'm sorry, sir. No one is to touch the reactor without direct orders from... You get out of my way! <laughs> Shoot! Get away from there, Admiral. I'm warning you. Shoot now! Shut down. Thank you. I shall return the favor immediately. Um, you're having trouble with your power, Mr. Penn. You've used it up. Need more power. With the reactor shut down, there's, uh, there's no way that you can get it. Uh, the, uh, that device of yours is worthless now. Why, why don't you just hand it over? Never. You'll, you'll never get this away from me. Come back! You can't get away! Come back! Chief Sharkey. Yes, Admiral? A civilian somewhere in the lower corridor. Send an armed party to find them. Meanwhile, meet me at corridor A2 on the double. I sir. You're still at frame 35. Stay there. Stand guard at the door until I join you. Sir, for me, sir? Take that sign down. I'll be right back. Aye, sir. A dime? A dime. A, a dime? I think, it, I think so. Here. Okay, good. Well, what are you doing? Oh, the gear. Give me a hand here, will you? Uh, here, here's a dime. Okay. Sign up this place. I'll take that chance.
Oh, no, sir. Anything else? Good. Well, thanks, Chief. Sir. Uh, join the search party. And if you find Mr. Pam, bring him here. Aye, sir. You know, Lee, I think that you and... Uh, uh, Don't move either one of you. Make any attempt to interfere. I'm going to restart the reactor now. I shall once more possess limitless power. The first thing I intend to do is dissolve our partnership, Admiral, by sending you so far back in time, you'll never be heard from again. Well, look, don't, don't go into that room with a power booster. Bon voyage, Admiral. <laughs> Question. <coughs> that's all that's left of his great discovery. In a way, it's too bad, isn't it? I'm not so sure all the cards were stacked in his favor. He very nearly beat us. You must have known what would happen when you had the chief switch the reactor room sign to the circuitry room. Well, of course, all of our electrical power is concentrated there. And with a power booster that multiplied the voltage several thousand times, the result was inevitable, poor fellow. He's probably the greatest genius of all time, yet fundamentally he's remarkably stupid. What do you want to do with this? Don't throw it away. It's no good to anyone now. Yeah. 